eyebrows also. He's impressed everyone. So far his boundaries have come driving the ball through the offside and the onside. This time a lovely punch square of the wicket. Very silky. On the back foot at the moment, South Africa. Andrew Hall going for five in his first over. Callis now going for nine in his first with one ball remaining. And that's where it will stay, but again, lots of time. 82 for two. Hour has been far too many deliveries from the South Africans and has been over pitched. And in these sort of conditions, any batsman of any class, which these two men have got, are going to pounce on it and smack it through the offside for four. Very strong in that region. Just in front of square. And he's gone for the hook shot. Extra pace on that from Jack Callis, an experienced cricketer, and he really did put something into that. Pagan too late in the shot. Strong man, Jack Callis. That wasn't very far away from the glove at all. Jack Callis didn't appeal though. That's always a bit telling when the bat, when the bowler rather doesn't appeal. He goes followed through, trotted a few steps down the pitch. No one was interested apart from couple of appeals from behind the stumps gets a single for it you mentioned um, the problems that the young fast bowlers have had with uh, back injuries Tino Best uh, has just come back into the Caribbean series it's, um, drive by Pagan and in the second match Tino Best uh, broke down again out for a couple of weeks now Philip Edwards has come back. He's uh, maintained his fitness since then, but he's one of the ineligible players at the moment. Nicely played. And fine leg is so fine down there that it will go for four. That's his 50. Well played, Wavel Hines. Well played. He's had a lot in his mind, Wavel Hines, perhaps even more than most of the West Indies team here. And it's been a very important innings from the Jamaican left-hander as the West Indies move on to 93 for two. And Wavell Hines has got a very crucial half-century. Very nearly going back onto the stumps. Inside edge into the pad. Hands holding heads for the South Africans, but Gill, but uh, Hines is still there, and very close. Just Just when you look down the list, uh, Wavell Hines would have also played West Indies under 19, Devon Smith, Pagan, Chandapur, got a double 100 for the West Indies in an under 19 test in, in England. Ryan Hines has played since he was under 15 for the West Indies under 15s. Do you want to write another one? Slow ball. Just had him playing a little bit too early. Foxed him with a slow one. Good bowling, good thinking by Andrew Hall. Not too sure about the line, though. I would have thought with the two fielders there at mid-wicket, that slower ball would have been a lot closer to the legs to try and get him to drive it. And, of course, the slower delivery, it would have meant it would have been lofted if he didn't time it properly. Look for a second here, and, yes, they'll get the second quite comfortably. With uh, Antini after it. Yeah. 
saw a change in the field after that previous delivery. Second slip, Jack Callis was placed in that mid-wicket position. I don't think there is too much chance of the edge carrying too far into the slip cordon with this older ball. I don't see any problem with having that field change. Yeah, I think it will be the last over before lunch. We have uh, a couple of deliveries left in it from Nell. Andre Nell asking for another field exchange. I think for Pagan, this is a better field if you're looking to get him out. Have that man catching on the offside, not on the onside. Exactly where his off stump is, Oliver Pagan. Hasn't been too keen to play at anything that has been too wide, unless, of course, it's reasonably short where he has locked us of time to go back and assess the situation. knows where his off stump is and he knows that he's had a good session on Debu Donovan Fagan coming in a difficult situation and with his fellow Jamaican Wavell Hines carrying the West Indies from the insecurity of 24 for 2 after 6 overs to 96 for 2 at the first interval on the opening day of the first test 54 to Hines 29 to Fagan so 26 overs gone, 96 for two at the moment, 64 overs remaining in the day's play, the first day of this four test series. McCain Tini it is, who's going to be charging in to Wavell Hines. Looking for a quick single straight away, there's been some good understanding between the wickets. Well, these two batsmen at the moment and this partnership has uh, been a very impressive one got the West Indies right back in this game good afternoon Paul afternoon Mike yeah I, I think uh, South Africa have got to, just one or two problems apart from Nell I don't think anybody really has bowled uh, sensibly enough on this pitch Nell has uh, got great figures eight over three maidens two for 23 he's bowled with pace with aggression uh, he's not been scared to pitch the ball up he's bowled a short ball sparingly He's bowled accurately. Big shout from McCain Tinney, also the men behind McCain Tinney from wide of the crease, the left handers often has the problem with the ball pitches outside the line of leg stump. Remember back in 2001, he actually picked up Brian Lara on a couple of occasions with uh, deliveries that did that. He's going to struggle to get uh, too many LBWs though, and Tinney, unless the ball is really full, even though that was, it's pitched uh, oh, a couple of stumps outside leg stump, well, one stump at least. And. Uh, Point of contact is outside outside leg stump, so a pretty ambitious shout from Antini. But already South Africa's approach has changed. There's a defensive field, big defensive field now. I tell you what's quite interesting, Paul McIntyre. Now, if we focus on here in this over, and obviously he's been sat down in the corner, and uh, Ray Jennings, and also Graham Smith, and probably Mark Boucher, who uh, has seen him since he started playing first-class cricket. They play at uh, in East London together for border. I would have been having a bit of a chat to him. I noticed at the start he didn't look comfortable at all in this test match and because I've, I feel because he was trying to get too close to the stumps. That's something they've been working on trying to get him to do so that he can get the ball maybe to pitch in line when he can get a little bit closer. But uh, if the coach and the captain want him to get in close... In the air. And running away for four. Brings up the 100 for the West Indies. Yeah, slightly streaky shot. If Fantini's trying to get in close, it can unsettle him. There's nothing wrong with this delivery, though. A little bit of extra width. It didn't uh, get anywhere near, near Gibbs on the full, bounced in front of him and well wide. But I still think uh, that to go defensive is OK, but not first over after lunch. Batsmen have to play themselves in again. Fantini's fresh after a, after a break. He's not bowled... Uh, too many overs anyway in the uh, the morning session 
think uh, South Africa need to capitalise on this early part of this afternoon session. There'll still be a bit of hardness in the ball. It's only 26 overs old. Full toss. Straight back to McCain Tini to finish the first over in the second session. 100 for two. Nasty wrap on the shoulders for the youngster. And the big follow-through again from uh, Andre Nell. These fast bowlers, they love causing the odd medal, the odd little bruise. You know, yes, he's got a great follow-through at the best of times, but when uh, he inflicts a bit of pain or beats the bat,